guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, Scotchy, do you want to come say hello? Let's try this again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and Scotchy. And this week we're in full Valentine's Day mode as last week. So if you haven't checked out that video of the DIY heart stitch t-shirt, make sure you go check out that video before you go to this video, just so you can see them all. But this week I'm going to show you how to do your own bath bombs because they're such a huge thing right now and I recently just got introduced to them thanks to my friend Dee and now I'm just obsessed so I want to try to create my own and make them more Valentine's Day themed. So that is what this DIY is all about. So let's just, let's just jump right into it and let's get started. To create your bath bombs you're going to need some baking soda, cornstarch, Epping salts, coconut oil, a lemon or a lime, some measuring cups and molds, just a few bowls, things like that, as well as some essential oils, which is optional. I went with lavender and eucalyptus. So you, what you want to do is start by mixing your dry ingredients together. And I'll put all the instructions down below of how much of everything. So right now, this is just a cup of baking soda, half a cup of cornstarch, as well as half a cup of Epsom salt, which I'm putting it into the bowl. So once all these are put together, mix them up and just put them aside because we want to mix our wet ingredients separate, just kind of like baking a cake. For the wet ingredients, mix two tablespoons of coconut oil and just put this in the microwave so it gets fully dissolved and then add one fourth cup of water to that mixture, stir it around and then add the juice of your lemon or lime. And make sure you give that a big stir around and then you can go ahead and add your essential oils. As mentioned, I went with lavender first and then did another batch with eucalyptus. And then from there, I just started doing little tablespoons at a time, adding it into the wet mixture. Like again, one's kind of like baking a cake, just so you want to get it to it's a nice consistency where you can mold it. So just take a little time and kind of go trial and error and keep going back and forth. Once you get the right texture, I want to go for Valentine's Day, obviously. So I took some rose petals, excuse my dirty hand here, I was just mixing everything together with my hands because it's easier. But put some rose petals into the bottom of your mold and then put your mixture on top. And then keep going with this until all your molds are full. And then you want to wait 24 hours until they are completely dry before taking them out. Just make sure, making sure that they hold their shape. Now I'm an on the run. Dangerous, but it's so fun. Running, running. DIY bath bombs for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and go check out my past videos down below. And like I said, subscribe because I'm back every week with more DIYs. Thanks for watching. Bye.